I'm going to do the lemon juice battery lab, and it's from our middle school with Vernier manual. There's another version of it in our physical science manual. And in this lab, we're going to make batteries out of lemons and a variety of materials you can find uh, that we will use for electrodes to insert into the lemon. And uh, I've already uh, made some slits here. Uh, the lab asked the, the students to make a couple of slits uh, that are approximately two centimeters apart. And they can take a, a scalpel or a sharp knife and, and cut down into there so that they can insert the uh, electrodes. Now, depending on the age range of your students, whether or not you want them to have a knife or not, that's up to you. But just keep in mind, you can do that in advance. Saves time, and, and you don't have to deal with sharp objects there. Um, so, so now, I've got the lemon, and let's talk about what we have with our electrode materials. Uh, I have a copper strip, and there is a steel nail, which is, steel is mostly iron, so the lab talks about using iron. I have a galvanized nail, and uh, galvanized means it's actually coated with zinc. So I have this will end up being my zinc electrode. I have some magnesium strips here. And lastly, I have some pieces of carbon. And uh, um, so these are just like chunks of, of graphite. And so you can use uh, uh, graphites, like artist graphites can be used there. And um, so those are my uh, electrode materials. So now I'm ready to assemble the battery, and uh, I'm going to start off by pressing the, the carbon down into the lemon there, and I have a paper towel to clean up some of the juice that comes out. So I have my carbon in there, and then the lab says, well, let's start off with a steel nail. So I insert the, the steel or the iron nail into the lemon there. So now I have my battery uh, ready for testing. Um, so next, I have to attach uh, some wires to it, or electrodes, so that we can actually uh, make the measurements there. So I need to put the black lead I'm going to put on the nail, and then the red lead I will put on the carbon. And uh, so I've done that. And now, we're ready to actually measure our voltage, and we're going to use the differential voltage probe. And um, we'll attach these leads to the end of our other leads uh, to be able to, uh, to measure that. Uh, but first, we need to plug in the sensor to the LabQuest, and it has a variety of ports there. So I think I'll just use uh, port number one. And when I do that, the LabQuest recognizes the sensor, and it brings up the meter window. Uh, if we look at the meter right now, uh, it's kind of uh, varying a little bit. Usually it's in the tenths or the hundredths place. Um, sometimes students have difficulty with this because it's, it is essentially zero, um, but they tend to be a little bit more literal with zero. So uh, one thing that you can do is to go in and zero the probe. And to do that, you just tap on the, the meter and then tap on zero. And so now it's... Uh, it's much closer to zero. It's still oscillating just a little bit, but uh, um, and it's kind of a teachable moment uh, to talk about you know place value and, and those kinds of things. So we're just going to be using this as a meter, and um, so we'll just read the numbers uh, from the screen. So now we're ready to attach our wires. So uh, red to the red wire there, and then I will put the blacks to the black, and I get a voltage of 0.66 volts for our carbon-iron combination. And then in the lab, there is a table, and the students write down the voltage uh, with this combination of electrodes. And then they have to switch electrodes and take another reading here. So the next one I want to do is, let's see, carbon and magnesium. It doesn't really matter what order you do it, but uh, I'll do it in the order that it's in the lab. I need to insert that into the lemon. We have 1.87 volts. And lastly, for this here, or this for the, with our carbon connection, we'll go carbon and zinc. We have 1.10 volts for our carbon 
zinc combination. Well, I've finished my trials here with the different electrodes. And uh, so now um, we could go and take a look at the different voltages and compare what kind of results we get with the different electrodes in the, in the lemon. Um, there are some variations uh, that you might try to, um, you know, that uh, often students will come up with on their own. They'll want to try other fruits, uh, for example. So they're already thinking about the variables uh, that they may want to manipulate. So you might try a grapefruit or an apple. Um, they may want to try different metals just to see what kind of voltages they, um, they obtain there. And uh, really the concepts that we're covering here, um, there's some chemistry concepts with electrochemistry and of course things with batteries are you know, big. They always want to know how batteries work. And uh, so it's, you're, you're touching on that uh, when you do this lab. Um, if you would like a, a copy of this lab, it's available at our website for download. And, uh, or if you have our manual, uh, we will actually, you have the word processing file for this lab. And if you want to make changes, uh, you, you may do so. And so it's a really nice lab for uh, students to investigate uh, the world around them.